Hello everyone, this is Kathy from Divine Debut. Welcome, welcome to the New Moon Solar Eclipse in Leo at 28, 29 degrees on the 21st of August 2017. Now whatever is happening with this great American eclipse, everyone is going to be major. It does have very positive aspects and it's very exciting very very exciting indeed there is so much happening in Leo there is a cluster of planets we've got Mars there we've got the North Node we've got the Sun and the Moon conjunct okay we've got a grand fire trine which is uh, happening from Leo to Saturn Saturn in Sagittarius where Black Moon Lilith is right there and also Saturn is trining Aries it's trining Uranus in Aries at 28 degrees Wow I mean that is incredible right now whatever is going to pan out whatever is going to um, take center stage is going to be something that's going to be very long-lasting it's going to have a sense of longevity because of Saturn, right? And it is major. All the major planets are being affected. Pluto, Saturn, Uranus. Um, also Chiron. Venus. Venus is not far off. It's at 24 degrees of Cancer. Jupiter is in Libra, 20 degrees. Chiron is in Pisces at 27 degrees. Um, now Mercury is at 8 degrees of Virgo and Mercury is retrograde, right? But Mercury um, will be moving back from Virgo where it's at, um, where it's going to be at. It's uh, on the eclipse, on the day of the eclipse, it's going to be at 8 degrees of Virgo. But it's going to go back into Leo over the point of the eclipse and then we'll start to move forward again go back into Virgo um, like it's doing a dance you know it's going forward and back and and again forward until it starts to go direct which will be after the 5th of uh, September 2017 also another note is uh, to write down on your calendars is that Saturn will move direct on the 21st of August so August is a major major month and as I said all the big planets are taking place in this major major aspect which is going to change the lives of everyone okay because the nodes the nodes are being affected and the nodes are all about destiny and karma. Now the nodes are karmic, Saturn is karmic. We are talking about karma here. So what the astrologers tell us is that we will already have an indication. Even a month before these eclipses, the one that happened on the 7th of August, which was in Aquarius, right, at 15 degrees, and now the one in Leo at 21 degrees uh, sorry at 28 29 degrees of Leo is going to be um, affected right so the nodes are affected and the nodes are all about our destiny so we already have an indication about what is going to take place in our lives but it's different having having the indication and different knowing what's going to happen because Uranus is here and Uranus is unpredictable right so um, I'll leave it at that in relation to astrology um, that's just you know a thumbs up for everyone to to think very positively about what's happening in the world now um, as as I said it's all fated 
So let's just go with the flow, keep an open mind, be positive and uh, be ready to receive because the universe is, you know, um, taking charge and bringing in the changes that are necessary for us to move on to our, um, our destiny and our, um, our alignment. We are being aligned by the universe. Okay, so I would like to um, do a different sort of a reading today and these are only just quick readings. These are in relation to the eclipse. Okay, the eclipse of the 21st. I've already got my readings up for August. Uh, most of you will have viewed those. Don't forget to check out your moon and your rising sign as well for more clarity. Um, I just thought that it was it's such an important thing that is happening it's such an important eclipse that I had to touch on that just to give you a little bit of indication um, in relation to your astrological sign roughly what is happening uh, energetically now for a private reading for your own personal um, reading please reach out all the information um, is in the in the box below the video my Gmail for any questions you know my website so um, I think I will leave it at that I've said a fair bit I don't want to bore you for those of you that are tarot lovers uh, thank you for uh, listening in and um, on to the readings okay Hello my dear Aries, welcome to my channel, this is Kathy from Divine Debut. I would like to thank you all for visiting and this is your update in relation to the eclipse which is going to take place on the 21st of August 2017, which is in three days. Today is the 18th of August. So why is this eclipse so major? dear Aries and that is because the nodes are involved north node is in Leo where the um, this eclipse is going to take place it's the new moon solar eclipse which is at 28 to 29 degrees of Leo okay the north node is there which is our destiny our fate so that is being affected we are being pushed towards that um, energy, the energy of Leo, and Leo is all about the heart. It's all about the fifth house, right? So what our heart desires, it's all about true love, children, playfulness, fun. All those things are what Leo is about. It's about making ourselves happy. So we're all heading towards doing that. So all the planets that are involved with the eclipse, they're all the major players which are up in the sky, very far away from our earth and they take a lot of, um, a lot of importance in this eclipse. They make all the importance in the world in the sense that they affect our life in a very very strong way and that is what is happening there are very positive aspects that's what uh, the astrologers are telling us that the transits that are happening are very very positive so we are hoping for good changes to come in now there may be difficult times as well but we go through difficulties to get to our um, to our goal, right? Dear Aries, you've got Uranus in your sign. Uranus is doing very, very important changes, is bringing on very important changes for all of us. And Uranus is all about things that are unpredictable. So what we don't expect is going to happen. Do remember that. Now, I have laid down your cards. 
I've got six cards and the seventh card, which is the general energy and the final outcome. It's the lovers. And the lovers is the card of Gemini. The lovers is a karmic relationship, partnership, or it's a decision, again, in relation to karmic matters. So it's as though we are building on our future with whatever decision we make. So this is a very, very important time. Do know that um, you've got the Ace of Cups and the Ace of Cups is absolutely gorgeous, especially in the Witch's Tarot, which you can see on your screens. That Ace of Cups is one of the nicest cards. This is new beginnings in romance, new beginnings in things that will bring your life to a different sense of purpose, a purpose of being emotionally complete, emotionally blissful and happy, okay? Joy, again, they are what Leo is all about. It's all about feeling like a child, being reborn, feeling the sense of innocence of when you are a child. A lot of happiness here, Aries, and I think that you deserve it very much so. I know that my dear Arians and a few clients of mine that I have, they do deserve love because they are lovable people. They're beautiful. So it's wonderful to see that you've got the Ace of Cups here, but the thing is that we've also got a difficult energy next to that. We've got the Seven of Swords. So for some of you, and this is not for all of you because it's a general reading, um, there is some sort of deceptive energy here. There is um, things that are hidden, which the eclipse is going to bring to light, things that you're going to find out about in relation to sneaky behavior, deceptive behavior, and um, just in general, people that don't have your best interest at heart okay so for some of you this is in relation to your romantic partner and this could be in a marriage so there has been deception there has been some deception and some of you are going to have legal proceedings because um, your partner has been involved with a third party now, when I talk about your partner, this could actually be on the flip side. It could be you doing this to your partner, all right? For everyone, it's going to be different. Now, for some of you, this has been happening for a while. It's been a situation um, that's been going on for a while and your partnership, um, for some of you, it's been like you have been in a marriage for quite some time, for many years, I should say. And if this eclipse brings that to light, yes, it is negative. It's not a good thing to find out about, but we have to be standing in our truth. That's what the universe wants for us. We need to be aligned on the right path, okay? So if we have to go through um, situations where we clash, situations where we, we're hurt, we, um, we disagree with our partner, whatever the trouble is, there is nothing worse than living a lie. Don't you agree? Sometimes the truth can be painful, but it clears your, your life you know, it puts you on a better path because you deserve truth, you deserve happiness. So for some of you, thank goodness, you will be finding out about this deception and you'll be taking care of what needs to be done. You'll be moving through legal matters, um, which will turn out in your favour 
okay and in that way you will be able to be reborn and begin again on a relationship that's going to be much more suitable for you and one that you can be your true self in it okay now for some of you this um this outsider could be someone at a distance your partner may be traveling uh could be traveling for work they could be uh, involved with a foreigner and some of you have got already the indication you already have an idea you've got the suspicion and for a small amount of you and this could be one or two people there is also a your partner may have already had a child with an extramarital relationship and that's going to be only for very for a very small amount of you some of you are looking for the answers because you do have an idea that there is a snake in in or near your house for others of you as i said there is travel involved here so your partner may be traveling to see this other partner of theirs so they are leading a double life But with the energy of the uh, eclipse it will be coming to light so you'll be able to reach a a clearing a clearing of the slate and a new beginning as a result now for others of you for others of you um and i am looking at earth Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn energy is going to be a new beginning for you with an earth sign. For many of you it's going to be Taurus and it's going to lead to marriage. Now this Taurian could be a business owner. They are a leader in their field and uh, they could be dealing with international companies within their company and for others of you you may be choosing between two different partners now I'm looking at the signs of Leo Sagittarius Aries like yourself Gemini cancer and the earth signs as i said mainly taurus but it also could be virgo or capricorn for those of you that are in business you have your own company your own your own enterprise there is going to be a celebration new partnerships celebrations with a partner that is coming in and they may be foreigners okay so that you're at a crossroads you're making a decision in relation to a work a career path for some of you different career path for others of you new partnership but it's going to be quite beneficial for you the only thing and I have said this to a couple of other signs is do take care for those of you that are signing contracts take care look at everything closely um, let your solicitor your lawyer know that you need things to be looked over again and again because of mercury retrograde after the 5th of September things will be easier
Right. Now, for others of you in love, we've got a Sagittarius who may be at a distance coming in. For those of you that are hoping for a visitor, and this could be, as I said, a Sagittarian person, There will be some difficulty with their flight, with their travels, and there may be a bit of a scare, but things will be all right in the end. There may be delays, there may be problems with their tickets, uh, miscommunication, whatever it is. Um, just know that there is a Sagittarius traveling and it's going to be a very, very happy uh, meeting this is going to be. And um, there will be a lot of going out there, maybe some sort of party where there'll be something new, something will be born. This is This to me looks like a new relationship. And there may have been communication. And uh, there was a sense of lack of trust. But do not fret. It's fine. For others of you that are taking your relationship to the next level, I see a wedding. I see an engagement. I see commitment. And I see you moving in together. This is your soulmate which again could be at a distance and it may even be that you need to travel you may be invited to travel to go and meet up with them whatever the case there are celebrations here and some of you may already be pregnant not for those of you where your partner is at a distance obviously that is impossible <laughs> Okay, for my singles, you may be choosing between Sagittarius or Leo or Aries, okay? Um, I think that they're the most stable partner for you. Whatever the case, there is a beginning here. The initial, um, the initial communication has begun. Uh, and there is a sense of stability here. For others of you, though, you are meeting this person um, at some sort of gathering. Now, it could be in relation to your study place where you are studying or just at a party or a celebration. It could be a meeting for work as well. Okay, dear Aries, I think I will leave it at that. Um, business is looking great. It really is looking great. For those of you that are wondering in relation to business and career, it is looking wonderful. Okay, it's really, really great. I think that you've got out of the rest of the signs that I've done up to now, I think you have got one of the most posit positive readings and uh, it looks as though Uranus is bringing in good stuff for you guys. Things are coming out of the blue. Unexpected uh, benevolence is coming in your life, dear Aries, and that is for most of you. As I said, trying to get to the desired outcome sometimes may bring on difficulties but do keep the faith that someone above is looking out for you it is time for you to receive Aries and good luck with that good luck with the eclipse I will be back for your next readings for September for anyone who is interested in a reading all the information is in the description box below 
the video. Do take care and also thank you for liking, sharing and subscribing. Keep well and we will talk soon. Bye for now.